Elementary particles are those particles which do not have their internal structure or say which internal structure cannot be described. So we write the same thing over here by definition. Elementary particles are those particles which do not which do not have their internal structure or say which internal structure cannot be cannot be described once again elementary particles are those particles which do not have their internal structure which do not have their internal structure or which internal structure cannot be described suppose let us take this as a particle okay we take this as a particle and if its internal structure cannot be described or can be neglected then that can be termed as elementary particles so there is a little concept regarding this we can even assume earth as elementary particles earth can also be assumed as elementary particles in context of the universe if we neglect the internal structure of the earth so it's a basic concept of elementary particles there are hundreds of elementary particles discovered so far some of them are very familiar to us as we already know about electron we already know about proton and we already know about neutron and some of us are also familiar with neutrinos muons gluons and etc these are the elementary particles now let's go to the topic classification of elementary particles now let's learn about classification of elementary particles elementary particles are of different types some of the elementary particles are massless whereas some of the elementary particles are very heavy some of the elementary particles interact in the strong field whereas some of the elementary particles interacts only in the weak field depending also upon the lifetime they are classified into the various formats so under this topic we are going to learn under what steps or under what topics are they categorized so elementary particles elementary particles are classified as follows some of the elementary particles are classified according to their mass some of the particles are very small or very massless or very um, they have very small mass and whereas some have very high mass so they can be classified according to their masses they can be classified according to their charge interaction spin and lifetime so these are some ways how elementary particles can be classified according to their mass according to their charge according to the interaction according to the spin according to the lifetime yes as i already says some elementary particles like electron they have very small mass whereas the elementary particles like proton they are very heavy particles so they can be classified according to their mass some of the elementary particles have negative charge and some of the elementary particles have positive charge about interaction some of the particles 
interact only in the weak field, whereas some of the particles interact in a strong field. Talking about spin, some of the elementary particles have half integral spin. So spin is a kind of intrinsic property of a particle. We will describe about spin in our next video. And some of the elementary particles have integral spin. So the elementary particles have a lifetime of a very long period like electron and proton and so the elementary particles have very less time period like 10 to the power minus 2 bell or 10 to the power minus 15 muons and tau they come under this category. So now at first let's learn about elementary particles on the basis of their mass.